Hey guys, uh, it's Joshua Katzel from the Joshua Katzel Vlog. I've got a couple of people that are curious about how I make the bulletproof style coffee, keto coffee, fat coffee, call it whatever you want. Um, I call it happy, happy fun juice. But all of that being said, there's only a couple of things you really need to make a, a good, successful cup of, of fat, sweet coffee. One of those things um, is, so you're going to want to start with either an organic or some type of a uh, of a really, really good grade coffee that makes all the difference in the world. If you use garbage coffee, you're going to be able to tell it, the difference right away. Uh, so we use coffee actually from, we're going to start using coffee from here in North Carolina. Um, but uh, the next thing that's really, really important is when you're, when you're picking out a butter that you want to blend with, make sure you get a grass-fed uh, something that is is all natural, organic. Uh, you don't want to put any of this, you know, processed garbage in your body. And unsalted. Make sure you buy unsalted. There are there are two different types of butter. And one of my favorites. Uh, there's one that we get in Spokane that's that's got a there's a little tub of it, and I can't remember the name of the company, but Cam Cabot Creamery makes a really really good grass fed butter. Um, and this is salted butter, so you can tell this is unsalted. So the packaging looks dang near the same, only difference is, is that you'll probably spit the coffee back out into your mug if you get the salted butter. But, so Cabot Creamery, this is a real, real good butter. Uh, next, the one we got was just Organic Valley cultured butter. Um, and I would recommend starting out, because of the fact that coconut oil and this butter, a lot of fat, it's going to have a, a detoxing effect. So I would go a little bit lighter in the beginning. Don't go real heavy, real hard with the butter uh, and the coconut oil. Uh, you're going to notice that if you've ever had that detoxing effect with coffee anyways, if you make it too strong, uh, you're going to get the exact same thing with this. So I would go with about a half tablespoon of butter and then do about a half spoonful uh, or a half tablespoon of coconut oil, MCT oil. Uh, there's a couple of great sources that you can get it. Uh, on it makes one. Uh, that's that's a really, really good product. And then we just found regular. They make it. You can get the stuff at Costco. Get organic. Get the extra virgin. And make sure that you go through and you just look to make sure there's not any extra additives or any other garbage inside of it. So I guess what we'll do is, oh, and then if you like to add a little bit of flavor to it, you can just get yourself a little bit of vanilla extract, and that's going to help sweeten it up a little bit. And then also, we like to add stevia. I do three packets for every cup of coffee. So if you've got this right here, stevia on the raw, it works great. Uh, you could use xylitol, you can use anything, just don't put real sugar in there. Stevia is a great natural source uh, to get the sweet that you typically like out of a lot of lattes and whatnot. So let's go ahead and make some coffee. Okay, so here we go. So for the purpose of this demonstration, it's the afternoon, so I went ahead and actually warmed up coffee. But you're going to want to use fresh coffee uh, to get the best possible taste out of this. So if you've got one of these, this is just a basic little blender that you can get just about anywhere, a little bullet blender. And then I just went ahead and put about that much coffee in there. We'll go with the things that are easiest to do first. Stevia, three packets in there. I would actually start with probably less stevia. Uh, me and the wife are just big, big fans of sweet coffee. So, And then with this, I don't actually measure it out. I just do a little bit of a splash, and then that'll work. And again, you can, you're going to have to experiment to figure out what tastes best to you, what you like the most. And so right here, you can see just about that much coconut oil. You just set the spoon in there. And then that's going to go ahead and start melting. And then next, go ahead and bust this open. You can use that same spoon once it's been cleaned off by the heat of the coffee. And you know, cutting butter with a knife is actually a lot easier, so go ahead and do that. So that's how much butter. It seems like a lot, but for me, 
because of the fact that my engine runs a little bit hotter, I do need more fat in the morning, or I start getting that that real that real tired you know lull by by about eight o'clock. We typically don't eat till about eleven because of the the ketogenic diet that we're on. So this is one of those things I got to get a lot of fat in the morning to get going. All right, so that's all made. Next, just your regular old blades. Screw those on. Make sure that's on there right. Believe me, I have cross-threaded that thing and made giant messes before, and you don't want to do that. All right, here we go. And I did it again. Look at that. I cross-threaded it, made a mess. So there's a perfect example of what not to do when you're making uh, fat coffee. All right, so as you can see there, you've got a nice, great layer of foam, fat, uh, and it, it turns into, when you, go, when you go to pour it, it actually makes one heck of a fantastic cup of coffee. If you're having more than one of these in the morning, you probably won't be able to sleep that night. So if there's any other questions, be sure to like, share, and subscribe in the comments below. Don't make a mess like this. Don't do what I did. Enjoy the coffee. Thanks for watching.